I feel like dating environments put this pressure of being in an interview. So I compare dates to interviews. It's almost like you have to put your best foot forward. You wear your best clothes. You try and say all the best things. And even if it's not the best, actually, it's us trying to be right. And that's what we do in interviews. When you go and interview for a job, it's like you want to be the right fit. For that person. Yeah, yeah. and that's what happens in a dating scenario. Like you're sitting opposite a desk, just like you do in an interview. Mm -hmm. And then someone's asking you a question and you're like, okay, well, what do I have to say to make them like me or to say the right thing? Whereas... We didn't really get to do that. No. <laughs> and I'm not saying that that was a conscious choice. But now when I look back at it and I reflect on it and introspect on it, I'm like, we didn't really get an opportunity no. to date in that sense. And that means that I got exposed to the real her either by seeing her in a charity organization, seeing her in a real life scenario. How does she treat normal people? And then how she is with her family. And I'm like, that's the best view you can get of someone. And so when I look at that in terms of giving advice or tips or whatever, my recommendation is be around people that you're thinking about being with in an environment where they're just being themselves. Yeah. Because chances are, if you like them the way they are when they are with other people, then you're likely to love them when they're with you too. <laughs>